Hey guys, it's Alex back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about this, the Apple Watch Series 6. So I recently just got this watch and now Apple announced the Series 6 alongside the Apple Watch SE back in September at their 2020 September keynote, you know, like their normal keynote that they do in September, which is when this was announced. So yes, I'm a little late to the game. I just got the Series 6, but you know what? I'm here making this review, talking about my thoughts on my Series 6 so far. So before we go any further, please hit that notification bell and that subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, before, so now, as I'm saying though, like the series, this is not going to be like a specs video. I don't, I'm not doing like a all sorts of like specs video right now. It's just my genuine thoughts on my series six so far. So let's get right into this review. So we're going to start off by talking about the blood oxygen sensor, which is the most noticeable difference between the Series 5 and the Series 6. Now the Series 6 is a blood oxygen sensor and this is really great nowadays with what's going on in the world. This will be able to tell you like your blood oxygen level. Now it says you should be 18 to use this, but I set it up though so that it'll work for me. And I'm not 18, but I set it up though so it'll work for me. I, it was a little cheesy what I did, to say the least, but I got it to work for myself. Which you can do, you just have to lie about your... I, you know, I'm not telling you guys what to do, but you probably already know what I did just to get it to work for these tests. Now, you should be getting around like 100%. Now, 98 to 100% is pretty good. 95 probably should go to, the, go to the doctor or something, but most accurate blood oxygen readings will come from your fingertip now this is on your wrist now if you want to i guess you can put it on your fingertip i mean i haven't tried that but i guess you can put it on your fingertip and try it yourself so i have not actually in fact tried it on my wrist as i was saying now your the accurate more accurate reading would or on your fingertip would be the more accurate reading now there are blood oxygen sensors like normal ones would just go on your fingertip so that's pretty much all I have to say about the blood oxygen sensor. Now, I'm coming from a Series 3 Apple Watch, and that did not have the always on display. Now, I love that always on display. Now, it does kill the battery, so a lot of people end up turning off that feature. I've kept it on so far just because I love that feature, something I wish my iPhone had always on. I guess that's why we get Androids, so I don't know. But that is something that I love. I also like with the Apple Watch all the band selections, all the band choices, and the watch faces. I've noticed that there are some new watch faces as I am coming from a Series 3 Apple Watch, so I'm noticing a lot more differences than someone coming from a Series 5 would notice. Now, like obviously I noticed like the obvious things, like they changed like the back right here, this is completely different. And you know, I think it's a genuine big upgrade from my Series 3, like I actually noticed big differences like the blood oxygen sensor, the always on display. Also digital crown it it like makes like a little it gives like a little like haptic back which is really cool and also the button on the side is completely in it's different than what i had before so it's it's really cool though i mean i haven't tested like the waterproof or anything now there are all the new bands like the loops and all sorts of stuff all sorts of jazz over there the loops the sport loops the whatever so, you know, it's your preference what band you're going to go with. I just have a sport band on here. Simple, simple. I don't need anything more than that right now. I might get a leather band in the future. Who knows? But, um, so I personally, if you're upgrading from like a Series 2 or a Series 3 or like an original Apple Watch, yeah, it's a big upgrade. But like Series 4, Series 5, I personally would just stick with those if you have those already. Because there's no reason to upgrade to this if you have those. Like, for me, it was a big upgrade, so it was worth it. Like, my Apple Watch isn't something I upgrade every year. This is something I keep for a couple years at a time. So, it's not something that I would upgrade, like, every year. Just because I don't feel like spending that extra money to upgrade my Apple Watch every year. It's not worth it to me. Now, this Apple Watch was worth it to me because I came from a Series 3, as I said. So, if you ha So, my th real th main thing that I want to get to is... If you have a Series 1 or a original Apple Watch, a Series 2, 3, then this is a big upgrade. Even maybe a Series 4 a little bit because the Series 5 had the always on display and stuff. So that's personally my opinion on that. If you should upgrade from your older Apple, like your older Apple Watches, like the original ones. But 
then again, that's those are some of my general thoughts. Something I do wish, though, that the Apple Watch did do was charge on like a wireless charger, just so I could just slap it on any wireless UI wireless charger I had. It would be nice if I could just slap it on any wireless charger I had, but it's you know it's fine. But they do have that little little charger, which is basically wireless, you know. But you know, I just wish I could slap it on anything, you know. But in general, though, this Apple Watch it was a big upgrade for me. Like, yes, it has like a bunch of new features like always on which was announced on the series 5 so I mean it's it's definitely definitely different than the series 3 now the 44 millimeter obviously that's a big upgrade for me too all the new watch faces are super cool and watch OS 7 in general is just a really good operating system for the Apple watch I think it's really good also something else I noticed is they've actually bumped up the storage I don't know why you really care about your storage on your watch but, I mean, the storage is bumped up from the older Series 3 that I had. I had to think about that for a minute there. But, all that jazz away. That's pretty much my general thoughts on my Series 6 so far. So, this is the Series 6. And, something that I actually am questioning with it is... What on earth some of these other apps are. There's some different... There's some random apps that I'm not really sure about on here. But it's not like it's stuff that I'd actually use on a general day-to-day -day basis. So, you know what? Those are my thoughts on my Series 6 Apple Watch. So, this is the first video of 2021. And that has pretty much been it for this video. So, like always, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and catch you guys in the next one. Peace.